and welcome to Name Hero. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO. And today's tutorial, I want to talk about how to fix the not secure warning in Google Chrome. So that's extremely frustrating error. So let's go look at it really quick. Here's my website, websitea.com. And if you look up here in the top corner here, you'll see not secure. And you'll see HTTPS is red and it's marked out, striked out with a big line. And there's nothing worse to drive your visitors away or to not trust your website and to see this error. And so many years ago, Google implemented uh, this error on websites that don't have a valid SSL secure certificate. So you know, they want websites to have end-to-end -end encryption, so all information transmitted is safe and secure and safe from being intercepted or hacked, so to speak. So if someone's you know, buying a product or service from your website and you know, they're gonna enter any of their personal information, especially like credit cards and stuff, you need to have a valid SSL certificate so you don't have this warning. And if I click on this, you'll see your connection to this site's not secure. You shouldn't enter anything sensitive. Certificate's not valid. You know, they let you know that you, know, you should probably get off this website. So nothing's gonna drive away visitors and prospective um, new clients than seeing this error. So you don't wanna have it. Now, there was many years ago that SSL certificates were expensive and hard to set up, and so we make things a little bit simpler here at Name Hero. If you go down here and you see our web hosting packages, you're going to see on all of them free and auto SSL. So we automatically install SSL certificates, and it's a free service. So you don't have to go paying you know, $70 or $80 or even $100 a year to get an SSL certificate at Name Hero. No, these are all free and automatic, meaning that once you set up your website at Name Hero, you point your DNS, then you're going to automatically have an SSL certificate installed. And you say, well, Ryan, that's great, but why? Do I have an error on my website? Okay, so I just set up this domain about 10 minutes before starting this video so I could replicate this error so you can see it on your side um, to try to mimic you know, what you might be having or experiencing at your website. And so I haven't given auto SSL time to run. So first off, let's talk about um, you know, where we can check this and then where we can resolve this error. So it's gonna automatically, each night we run a, a cron job and it searches for this error on websites hosted at Name Hero and it's gonna attempt to fix this. It's gonna attempt to automatically install one of those free SSL certificates so you don't run across this error. But there's a couple things that you can do on your side to check as well as speed this up. So first off, let's go log in to it. I've gotten a demo account and I'm gonna log into it so I can show you where all of this is controlled and how you can correct it if you're seeing this on your website. If you're not a customer at Name Hero, you know, I certainly would we'd love to have your business and I encourage you to check out our packages. Um, you know, all of these do have auto SSL. The main difference in all of our packages is the number of websites you can host on each one of them. Um, our Turbo and Business, they allow you to host unlimited websites. So, you know, if you're a business and you have specific or different websites, you know, for divisions of your business or maybe certain promotions, you want to look towards the Turbo or Business. If you're an individual and you're just starting up your first website, your first blog, you know, the Starter Cloud, cloud allows for one website that's very cost effective. Uh, the Plus allows for a little bit more for seven total websites, but the Turbo is the most popular because it provides this unlimited websites and it's not quite the cost of our business. Uh, but if you do have an e-commerce website, I'd really you know, point you towards the Business Cloud package. But our most popular, you know, when in doubt, they tell customers, if you're, you, know, you already have a website, you already have traffic, you, if you're especially looking for a business, you cannot go wrong at this Turbo Cloud. You can always upgrade to the business later on automatically. There's no downtime involved. There's no migration. You can just point and click in our interface and it'll automatically upgrade you to the business you know, once you select it and pay the difference from your package. Okay, but I'm not gonna go through sign up in this video. I'm gonna log into my existing account and we're gonna talk about how to resolve this error. So I'm gonna go to the top. I'm going to click account and I'm going to log into my demo account. So I've got my demo at name hero, got my password here, paste it, log in. So what I want to do is once I get inside to our client interface, I want to find my web hosting package for the account that I'm working on here. So I'm going to click on my cloud and I've got several since this is a demo account. 
but my package I'm working with today is the Business Cloud Package. And since it allows for unlimited websites, my, you can see my domain for my demo here is WebsiteAid.com and not KeyDiets.com. And that's because WebsiteAid is an add-on domain of KeyDiets. So KeyDiets is my main domain, but I decided, hey, I need hosting for another domain, so I set it up inside of here. And if you want to learn how to do that, I've got another video tutorial out there on YouTube that shows you exactly how to add another website to your account. Uh, but for this video, we're going to set up that SSL certificate on website 8 because Key Diets is already working. So I'm going to go into cPanel. So you can see I can log in either here or I can click this login to cPanel here and go in to take a look at my SSL to see what's going on. So at this top search bar, if I just type in SSL, you'll see this section that pops up called SSL or TLS. And that's going to take me to where my certificates are. So I've got my default. You don't want to make rec or the, I don't recommend you know changing this up. Use the default here, but I can go down to certificates and I can view which ones have them, which ones don't. So you can see website aid. It does have one, but we're going to go to it down here. I've got my key diets. So you can see auto SSL has run, but it's not reflecting yet in my browser. So if I go to website aid, let's see if I refresh it. See, it's still not resolving in my browser, and that's fine. So what we can do is we can see where WebsiteAid.com is, and we can click on Install. And you can see this one's going to um, expire in nine days. So what we want to do is when I go back over to here and click on WebsiteAid.com, we want to update certificates. Let's WebsiteAid.com, autofill by domain, install certificate. Okay, now you've successfully updated SSL, so Website Aid is now going to resolve. Click OK. All right, so now you can see WebsiteAid.com has that green lock. This certificate is now valid until April 25th. So today is February 13th. And so my certificate, it's going to automatically renew too. So now I've gone ahead and manually kind of forced this um, to working. If I would have done nothing in 24 hours, this would have automatically have um, resolved on its own. But again, I wanted to force this to get it to, so I can begin to resolve this error. Now you'll see if I go into here, I'm still going to see this error until my browser kind of clears the cookies. If I go to inspect, I might be able to force it here. Let's go to the empty cache. It's still going to take a little bit here. So if you're still seeing it, now my certificate is valid. And you can see if I click it here, there we go, it's showing the certificate is now valid. So now it's just going to take like 24 hours for this to clear out of my browser. But if I went on another computer, I wouldn't see this. Now another part is in WordPress, you want to verify all your URLs are calling the HTTPS. Now, this might sound a little complicated, so let me go to my WordPress admin. I'll show you what I mean. If I go over here to Tools, I'm sorry, Settings and Reading, you'll see, I'm sorry, I'm going to go to Permalinks. You can see here, I want to make sure these say HTTPS, which mine do. Now, if yours don't, we might need to change that. So let's go to General. If yours don't have HTTPS here, if they just say like this, you're going to want to make sure that you add the S to that, okay? And I'll make sure that when someone goes to your site, it's going to automatically um, pull the HTTPS version. Additionally, if you want to add the www, you can do that as well. I'm a big fan of that, adding www to my websites there. And then I just save down here. Okay, it automatically logs me out. So let me log back into my WordPress admin. my password and log in. Now if I go back to settings in general, you can see I'm pulling from here. And now if I go back over to here, you can see if I go to my blog, boom, no more error. We are secure. So I've now gotten rid of that error. I can see my certificate and I'm all set. Now there's also one thing that you might want to check. We have this tool called dnshero.com. It's 100% free. 
But if you're still having issues or errors like with auto SSL running, it's always good to check to make sure you have your DNS set up properly. And when, when I'm talking about DNS, if I go over here to my control panel, I have to make sure that I'm using the correct name servers for my domain. So my domain website a.com, it is at name hero. So if I go to domains and my domains, you'll see website aid. And again, it's showing this red, no SSL. And I just now fixed it. So this will change to green once everything picks it up. But I do want to make sure my DNS is proper in order to everything runs automatically, you know, so it's going to automatically renew. So I click on this and if I go down to name servers, you want to make sure I click custom and I'm using the NS1 and NS2. And just to ride this home here to make sure there's no errors, if I go to DNS Hero and I put in websiteaid.com, click report, I want to make sure there's no red on this report. Because if there's any red, that might mean that I don't have these set up properly. And this can cause a failure in auto SSL. So, you know, if I'm getting that error continually, like, you know, maybe a month later, if I'm seeing that not secure warning error in Chrome again, then I need to go back and take a look, see, like, you know, what's going on. But as long as these are proper and there's no red on this tool here, then you can sleep easy knowing that things are going to automatically renew, which, of course, I'm good here. But it's just an easy way to verify it. One last thing. If this intimidates you, you know, by changing these, there's a free plugin that you can easily install in WordPress to make sure all your pages, and this is important if you have an older website that never used secure certificates before, it will make sure that all your old URLs are written in a way that call this certificate, the HTTPS. All I do is go to plugins, click add new. If I go to search, it's called really simple SSL, and it's 100% free. Here, really simple SSL. I click install now. Click activate. Go in here. See, this already says an SSL has been detected. So activate it. Go to dashboard. And you can see we're all good. Now they've got um, some upsells. You know, they want to get you into their premium plugin. You know, they're going to show you that some suggested fixes. And you can go through these. The purpose of this video is to talk about that not secure warning. So I'm not going to go through all of these. Um, but this is an easy way to make sure that your website is calling the SSL certificate. So now if I go to SSL, you can see that it is active. I have seven tasks I can still work on, but my site is now for sure calling the HTTPS version. So like if I go to websiteaid.com and let's say I try to remove this, you know, and just go to HTTP, it automatically brings it over to the HTTPS. That way I'm secure all the way around. And even my old pages will redirect to use that new secure certificate. Okay, so just to recap here, at Name Hero, all of our web hosting packages have free and automatic SSL. These automatically generate, if you just signed up for your account, if you just connected your domain, allow things 24 hours to fully run. If you're still getting that error, or you know if you're in a hurry to set up your site and you want to make sure you get rid of that, you can go into cPanel. And again, we got to there by just clicking cPanel from inside a name hero. Once we get to cPanel's main page, we just type in at the top SSL, and we can go here. We go to View Certificates. And we can make sure that we do have one. And again, I first installed it by just clicking the install here because I saw one here from Let's Encrypt, the free authority. And when I did that, it automatically installed it for websiteaid.com by just clicking here. And then I was able to mitigate that error. And you can see the only two things that don't have that green lock are these subdomains. And since I have an add-on domain set up for these, and again, if that means nothing to you in this video, don't worry about it. Um, but I'm not using these domains. You know, the, no one's going to these subdomains, so I don't have to worry about that. What I'm concerned about is that website aids protected, my webmail, my web desk, you know, my subdomains for my services are set up. So I'm seeing all those green locks, and that means we are all good to go here, and we will not see that annoying Chrome warning anymore. 
Now when our visitors and customers come to our site, they're not going to be run off by seeing something that says not secure. You know, they see that the connection is secure and we know that any personal information entered is encrypted and that we can shop safely and browse this site securely without fear of our information being compromised. So I hope this helped you out. You know, again, this is a free and automatic uh, feature at Name Hero. I showed you in this video how to force that, but again, you don't have to. It will automatically just run. Um, if you have any doubts about it, you can always validate your DNS by going to dnshero.com, making sure there's no red in here. And, you know, if all else fails, if you still have questions, feel free to hit up our support. You know, our team is standing by 24-7, 365. You can easily submit a brand new support ticket by going to support. Click on open a ticket. Our team will be with you within 15 minutes and they'd be more than happy to take a look to say, you know, what's going on or to point you in the right direction or to clear up any doubts that you might have with your secure certificate with us here at Name Hero. So free and auto SSL, it's one of our uh, top features here at Name Hero. We believe that extra features, especially when it has to deal with security, should not have to cost you more. It comes with your hosting package, comes with all of our hosting packages here at Name Hero. Um, and that's just one of our commitments to you here at Name Hero to making sure that you have the best website hosting experience possible. So thanks so much for watching. If this video helped you out, if you resolve that real annoying, frustrating error, you know, we certainly do appreciate the thumbs up on the video. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you'll be notified when we get more videos out to, with helpful tips like this uh, to help you make the most out of your hosting experience with us. Um, so we certainly do appreciate the love. I and mean, any comments or questions, you know, feel free to leave them on this video. I'll try my best to get back to you on those in a timely manner. But if you do need support, you know, our support is available 24-7. 7365 you can easily open up a ticket or you can go to our main site here at the top and spawn up a live chat right up here just click on live chat one of our texts will be right with you so thanks so much for watching and using us here at namehero.com